afternoon, and thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm Karen Ross, and I'm Secretary of the California Department of Food and Agriculture. California produces two-thirds of the country's fruits, vegetables, and tree nuts, as well as 20% of the nation's milk. This $50 billion economic activity at the farm level is concentrated in the Central Valley, which is the subject of the Fresno Merced Future of Food Innovation Proposal, known as F3. F3 is the only proposal in the grant competition representing California's agricultural technology and food industry, and one in which the state of California is very proud to be an initial investor. What we produce in California is important to the nutrition security of the nation's consumers and cannot be easily duplicated in other states. The collaboration that this proposal represents will deliver solutions to grow opportunities for agricultural sustainability and healthy, thriving communities in our Central Valley. Thank you for your consideration of this proposal. And I'd like to turn to the proposal lead, Ashley Swearingen of the Central Valley Community Foundation. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Ross, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. With the greatest deposit of class one soil anywhere on the planet, 5 million acres of farms and over 13,000 ag enterprises, California's Central Valley is the unrivaled food production region of the nation and arguably the world. Our nation relies heavily on this region that annually produces 25% of its overall food supply. It's a point of pride for us, but it's also a heavy burden for the families and the communities of the Central Valley, particularly communities of color. 22% of our residents live below the federal poverty line. The region experiences the third worst food hardship in the United States, and it's ranked near dead last for racial inclusion. The F3 initiative confronts these challenges by growing the Climate Smart Agri-Food Technology and Engineering Cluster, which includes three major strategies across a portfolio of eight specific projects. Our first major strategy is tech-based economic development, and it brings together the University of California research arm with the engineering capabilities of our state schools alongside industry and community, all under one roof at a dedicated facility called iCreate. I create leverages our industry concentration and our specialized infrastructure, such as over 2,400 acres of test farms and over 5,000 manufacturers in this region to develop, commercialize, and manufacture the solutions that are needed for climate adaptive food production, both here in the Central Valley and around the world. That creates a new export market for our regional economy and it addresses global food security. It also means that we don't have to keep importing equipment from places like. Chile and France. This public-private partnership includes small-scale BIPOC farmers and community voices in its governance structure and proposes $46 million of investment over the next four years that will result in about 100 new ag tech products and services, 3,500 new jobs. The investable components of this strategy are listed on the screen. Our second major strategy is building a resilient local food system that invests in small BIPOC farmers and drives the local adoption of the sustainable technology that's developed by iCreate. We propose $32.2 million of investment over four years that results in support for 3,000 small business owners, 1,000 new jobs, and 300 new small-scale agri-food businesses. Investable components of this strategy include a revolving loan fund, technical assistance, a tools library for tech testing and adoption, and building access to new, to new markets. And all of these services are aimed at supporting the region's nearly 7,000 historically underserved BIPOC farmers and food entrepreneurs. Our third major strategy is workforce development through the Ag Tech Workforce Initiative, which targets the 70% of the region's ag workforce that is in low-skilled, low-wage jobs that are the most threatened by automation. It provides a regional all-access training system across eight community colleges. A $39.5 million investment over four years will result in a pipeline of 8,400 people annually trained in applied agricultural systems with an average increase of 60% in wages for those receiving training. The scope and the scale of the F3 initiative is unprecedented in California's vast food and ag industry. The time is now for these investments. 
With the connection of our region to the Silicon Valley less than a decade away through high-speed rail, and with more than 20 years of investment in, in a new UC campus and scaling and expanding Fresno State, we're on the precipice of shifting from a commodity-driven economy to one that's driven by innovation, that provides more high-quality jobs for its residents, and really secures the nation's food supply. California's Central Valley is the workhorse of our nation's food supply. And it's time for the region that feeds the nation to become the nation's priority. We invite your partnership with the Fresno Merced Future of Food Innovation Initiative. Thank you.